Hey everyone, this is James with SCW, here to give you an overview of SCW ViewStation, our free VMS platform for Admiral, Imperial, and Corporal line of recorders. Let's take a look at the key features of SCW ViewStation. First off, let's talk about the multi-system compatibility. This means that if you have multiple NVRs at your facility, or you've got multiple locations, you can view them all together through ViewStation. We also have robust live view with up to 64 simultaneous live streams and custom saved views. Powerful playback with smart search and this is a scalable and free software. You can use up to 64 different devices or up to 512 channels and it's completely free with our NVRs. Let's start by looking at the live view functions of SCW ViewStation. Under live view, you'll see your list of NVRs on the left and then below that, we can see the grid options. This is where we're gonna select how many cameras we see and what the layout is. You can see we have layouts from one camera all the way up to 64 at a time. We also have options in between with different sizes and layouts, and you can even create your own custom grid layout if you wish. All right, let's look at some cameras now. I can bring up individual NVRs by double clicking them. You can see here as I switch between them, or I can actually bring up all the NVRs by double clicking the folder up here. Now we're seeing the 47 cameras available to me right now. While you're looking at these cameras, you can drag and drop cameras to arrange them wherever you wish. You can also double click on a camera to make it full screen and switch it to the highest quality stream available. You can double click again to go back to the grid and it will switch back to the third stream. This is great for both bandwidth and computer resources. Now let's bring up one of my favorite features, Save Views. Save Views allows you to create a custom grid which you can easily bring up with cameras that you care about. Notice how I've got this grid option here now with one big one and five small ones. I can use a search function here at the top to search for cameras. Let's make a lobby view. I just simply grab the camera and drag it over. I'm just dragging and dropping the cameras that have lobby in their name, as you can see. And then I can grab a couple other cameras here, like this Paladin, and also the Radius or Fisheye camera down here. Notice how I'm grabbing cameras from different NVRs and different locations, meaning that you can mix and match between different locations if you want to. I'm also able to choose what stream type I want. For this big one, maybe I want to switch it to the substream so I get a little bit higher quality view. Now to save this view, let's go ahead and click Save View and give it a name. I'll name this one Lobby. To access the Save Views, we want to go to the View tab on the left. From there, we'll see our custom views. Notice how I have an outside camera view, a VIP camera view, and then I can jump right back to the Lobby view we just created. Notice that I remembered that we wanted Substream on this camera. Save Views is a very powerful feature that allows you to manage large systems more easily. Imagine you had 50 fast food locations. You could create a save view for all 50 of your cash registers. Or imagine you're a multi-story hotel. You could create a save view for each of your floors. The possibilities are almost endless with save views. Now let's move on to the playback functions where we can see our recorded footage. As you can see, playback looks pretty similar to live view. Let's go ahead and select a camera. I'm going to select this camera on the bottom, the Warrior 8.0 V3. And I'm going to select a date. We'll go back a couple days here to Tuesday. And I'm going to hit search. Now we can see the footage for this camera on that Tuesday. Notice how we've got both blue and red indicators. This particular camera is set to record 24-7, which is the blue, and also indicate where motion was detected, which is the red. This timeline is showing 24 hours of footage. We can narrow that time frame down by clicking the button over here to make it smaller and smaller increments. This can be really helpful to navigate to a specific time period. Once you find a time that you want to see, simply click on the timeline and it will jump right to that time. You can also choose to fast forward by this bar here up to 16 times speed and still hop around the timeline by clicking.
Another way of navigating to motion clips is by the bar here on the right. Notice we have clip times and we can just simply double click to them and it will jump to that time. Now let's talk about how you export footage once you find it. One way of exporting footage is by the clipping function. This is a great way of exporting a small clip out of a larger incident. To clip an incident, find the scissor button here on the left, click it, and that's going to begin your clip. And from there, you can choose to either fast forward, clip ahead, and once you're done, click the scissor button once again, and that's gonna show you the time frame you just clipped. You can also make adjustments to your clipping here too, so if you need to add a couple seconds to it, or maybe subtract a couple seconds from the end, you can do that. Once you hit OK, that's going to download straight to your computer in an MP4 file. Another option for exporting footage is the download function. Simply click the bottom right download icon and you'll see all of the motion clips throughout that day. From here, you can choose one or multiple clips. Once you select your clips, simply click download. Sometimes you want to just download a specific time frame. To do that, click the Buy Time tab at the top and simply specify what time you want. Maybe I want to download from 9 to 10 a.m. Since this camera is set to record 24-7 and give us motion indicators, we'll get a full hour of clips out of this. For cameras that are recording on motion or VCA, you'll get whatever's available between the time frame you specify. So this is exporting footage. But what if you have trouble finding the clip you need? Let's take a look at the Smart Search function of SCW ViewStation. Smart Search allows you to choose individual areas to do a motion search on. Let's solve the mystery of who left this mouse on the table. To do this, I'm going to draw a grid around the mouse and then I'm going to click Search. Let's zoom out of the timeline and you'll notice that we've got two different colors now. We got both red and green. Red is for regular motion detection and green is for where it detected motion in the grid we drew. Look at how much Smart Search has narrowed down what we need to comb through. Instead of having to look at all these red clips, we simply have three short green clips that we need to review. Let's look at the first green clip of the day. Here's somebody going into the room. They cross the box that we drew earlier and they're grabbing a mouse. Are they the one that leaves it? Nope, looks like he's taking it away. So that clip isn't the one we need. Let's take a look at the other one. I'll simply click on this timeline and we'll jump to that clip. Hey, he's got a mouse and he's leaving it on the desk. Looks like we solved this mystery thanks to Smart Search. Now the last thing I want to cover is how easy it is to add cameras to your SCW ViewStation. With ViewStation, you can add by IP address, which is useful for local IPs, VPNs, or remote accessible IPs, SCW ViewStation is also compatible with the Star for Live Cloud Relay service built into our NVRs. Simply log into your Star for Live account and it'll import either devices that you own or are shared with you. It's that simple. ViewStation, as its name implies, is primarily for viewing, but you can access the web interface of the NVR to access all the settings simply by clicking the E button. The web interface, you can access almost all of your NVR settings, such as scheduling, encoding settings, and so on. This is ViewStation in a nutshell. There are so many more features and things we'd like to share, so if you want to learn more or even get a personalized demo, get in touch with us at getscw.com and we'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching.